In the chapter on rendering, we looked at setting the resolution for printing, but we didn't discuss much about how to actually get to the resolution that you need. The viewing distance, which is the distance between the image and the viewer, is a very important consideration. There is a general rule of thumb that's used in art galleries that an image should be viewed from seven times its diagonal away from the image. So you measure the diagonal distance across the printed image and the viewer should be seven times that distance away from the image to get a good perspective of that image. What that means is that you can print out at a much lower resolution than you would normally imagine. One of the tendencies people have is to use too high of a resolution when outputting for print image, and that's just a waste of computer resources and time. We'll take a look at a tool built into 3ds Max called the Print Size Assistant. This tool will aid us once we determine the size in pixels per inch in setting the right image resolution for rendering. Another consideration in the process of printing is something called gamma correction. This is also a consideration in the film and animation production industry. The term for this is called a linear workflow. What's happening is your computer screen is emitting light, whereas a printed image is bouncing light, and there's a very large discrepancy between what you see on the screen and what you'll get on the printed page without a lot of experimentation. If you can work with your printer and determine what the correct gamma setting should be, you can eliminate some of the issues that you'll have with delivering properly exposed images for printing. So we'll look at some general rules for setting gamma correction.